the Indianapolis Colts. We had a feeling that this probably was not going to work out. And there are reports from, I believe, Chris Mortensen from ESPN. He is saying that Wentz will probably be traded or released by March 18th. And the reason March 18th is significant is because Wentz's contract calls for his full $22 million base salary to be guaranteed and for him to release or receive a $6.29 million roster bonus if he's still on the roster on March 18th. If he is released before then, then the Colts are on the hook for $15 million, but they would be off the hook for the other $13.29 million. Uh, from what you saw from Carson Wentz this past year, is there any way they keep him on the roster? Nope, and there's not another team in football that's going to trade for it. I don't. I don't think they will either. I, think I don't think there's anybody wants him up, but nobody's going to sign him knowing that they are on the hook now for that twenty-two million dollars or trade trade him, knowing that they'd be on the hook for that. Yeah, no, they, no they won't pick him up him. off waivers. It'll be uh, he'll, yeah, he'll become no, a free agent. He'll, yeah, he'll clear waivers. He'll become a free agent. It's it's interesting. I mean, we we kind of had this feeling that it wasn't going to work out. Uh, man, the Colts gave up a first round pick and a third round pick and a ton of money. And yep. I don't think they would have yep. done that if they thought he was going to be a one, one and done. But for, it, for a one year experiment, I want all those people. God, I, I wish I could just get all those people that talk so much shit. You don't know they're going to be great. Remember two thousand whatever. Like all those people to get in the room and sit down and be like, listen, listen, you were wrong. You were wrong. I was right. Okay, this guy can't play. And the coach. And, and, and the front office over there that made that deal said it was a bum deal. I said, you're wasting not just all this money, not just all of those assets in picks, but you're also wasting years of the the roster that you have. That's pretty good, by the way. Yes. There were free agent quarterbacks last year that would have been better than Carson Wentz and cost less. A lot, lot better. A whole lot better. But no, no, we just, had to go get him ah, because he was an MVP candidate under Frank Wright. <laughs> I don't care. That was a mirage. That was all a farce. It's not real. You're right about that. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.